Dear friends, this time of pandemic is the most difficult test of our European solidarity, effectiveness and cohesive actions in decades. This incredibly demanding exam is passed with flying colors by people who are directly engaged in the fight against the pandemic, both doctors and healthcare workers, but also all those who are working to sustain the fundamental life functions of our societies. Their dedication and courage are worthy of highest respect. They are the true heroes of our times. I would also like to thank my colleagues from the EPP and from our group in the European Parliament for their work in these hard times and for preparing concrete proposals of actions for today and tomorrow. The priority is of course our fight against the virus. It will not be effective if each European state will follow its own strategy and establish its own standards starting with the policies on the borders, through the methods of testing and the level of social distancing, ending with statistical methods and access to information. If we do not agree on joint and coordinated actions, the pandemic will last longer and will claim more victims, while emerging from the crisis will be extremely difficult and costly. The first clear political conclusion after two months of pandemic on our continent is more Europe, not less. The fight against the pandemic cannot have a national character. The virus does not respect borders. The virus is a cosmopolite. We should begin with immediate European preparations for the mass production of a vaccine whose invention is only a matter of a few months. We have to make use of this time to build an infrastructure dedicated to this in the whole of the EU. The citizens of some countries are very critical of the European Union and its first reactions towards the pandemic. It is commonly felt that they came too late and were insufficient. And as you know, in politics, perception can be more important than facts. They know this well in Moscow and in Beijing. They also know that those who pay quickly pay twice. But we cannot explain the resentment of so many Italians, Spaniards or the Portuguese only by the efficient, aggressive propaganda of EU opponents. We must immediately and honestly explain to ourselves what is it that functions badly in the European Union in critical situations on both levels, institutional and national. The European Union cannot be, as some claim, a project only for good weather, because it will not survive the next storm. It is the need of the hour that the main actors of the European stage agree on joint anti-crisis actions in harmony and mutual respect. The discussions about ways of coming out of the crisis and financial assistance, including the so-called coronavirus bonds, must express a spirit of solidarity, not competition. If you start to quarrel and hurt one another, the trust in the Union will decrease even more. I am confident that we will win this war against the virus, but there is no guarantee that we will survive this difficult time as a community. The last three weeks have demonstrated that the quality of leadership and the right decisions play an enormous role and this is why so much still depends on the leaders. In the time of the plague, what is key is the trust of citizens in their state, transparency, true information and self-discipline. Extraordinary measures, often restricting democracy, are also necessary in this time. 
the pandemic justifies that they are applied, but it does not justify that they are abused. The state of emergency or the state of danger must serve the governments in their fight against the virus and not strengthen their power over the citizens. Making use of the pandemic to build a state of a permanent state of emergency is politically dangerous and morally unacceptable. This is why so many questions and concerns appear regarding the situation in Hungary, where, according to many, the emergency measures which have been introduced are disproportionate and inadequate. And what is more, they have been introduced for an indefinite period of time. Many of you, even if you criticized Prime Minister Orban for his previous decisions, did not agree to expel Fidesz from our political family. Today, we have, of course, much more important things on our mind. Our top priority is the fight against the pandemic. But the time will soon come when you will have to again reconsider your positions. Thank you.